What is going on everyone? Back with another video. So today I have another custom made knife that just came in. I waited for this, uh, actually not too long. Uh, this is the Burr Oak Knives Dreadnought. This is the dress dreadnought, uh, my version of it, uh, that I had Mark Neveling over at Burr Oak Knives uh, do for me. And this one I showed off with the uh, sheath that he also made. Very beautiful, uh, nicely uh, accentuated for the overall knife itself. The stitching is really, really nice on this thing. Got the light, uh, kind of like a OD, almost like a tan colored stitching on the outside, then black stitching on the inside on the on the cross here, um, and the, and you can see that the overall color scheme kind of goes with the knife uh, itself. So uh, before I go, go on, I'm going to show you his uh, his business card here. Now I'm uh, I'm covering his address by the way, uh, just because on his website it does not show his address, so I don't know if he actually wants people to know what it is, but uh, he does show his email and his phone number. So here it is. Um, you know, if you guys want to contact him uh, to have a have a knife made for you or or whatnot. Uh, anyways, let's go and put the sheath to the side here. Show you the actual knife itself. Again, this is the Dreadnought model. Now, when I first saw his stuff, I, I really liked it a lot. Uh, he had a few knives on GP knives and and uh, Arizona Custom knives as well. Um, and the Dreadnought came up, and, and while all his knives look great, uh, he had the first responder, which I really like, and also the splinter, which is really nice. Uh, uh, there's one on, uh, I believe GP knives actually has, um, uh, what's it called, Air, lightning strike carbon fiber uh, and Mokume bolsters, nice uh, Damascus blade, and. But when I saw this knife, for some reason, this overall kind of organic looking uh, shape was really appealed to me than the way that he did it. And there was one on ACK that I liked a lot, uh, but I, I didn't like the bolsters on that particular one. So I decided to contact him and have one specifically made for me. So went on his website and I uh, checked out all the stuff that he had. He had a bunch of pictures in his gallery and uh, I picked out uh, a couple uh, Damascus patterns I really liked. So I asked him to do this, this, uh, this pattern here for me. Uh, I believe he calls this just the radial pattern. And then this is the Supernova Damascus. <laughs> really awesome. Let me see how, how close I can bring this up to the camera here. Um, but it is just crazy, this Damascus pattern right here. You see it's kind of shiny. Let's go to the other side as well. Oops. And it is nice. There's a, there's a Mark's maker's mark there when this is baroque and says neveling kind of hard to see with the with the damascus pattern going on but very unusual damascus pattern uh but i really like it kind of like a little bit of chaos <laughs> on the blade in terms of design and then you got a little bit more of a like a it, it, I, I think this bolster really breaks it up for me between the, both these patterns here and I, that's why i wanted him to do it this way you notice he anodized the thumb studs and the liners for me as well. Now think about it, these thumb studs, he, he usually only puts one thumb stud, it's only of course on the right hand side or for right hand opening, but uh, I like my knives to be ambidextrous, so um, I, I requested that he uh, do two uh, dual thumb studs for me, which he did, and uh, I'm very appreciative of that. And looks how, look how nice that thing looks. And he did, did all the file working on the blade spine here. You see it uh, looks like a Damascus backspacer with the file work done on that too as well. And uh, just absolutely gorgeous with the, uh, along with the, now this is a fossil walrus ivory. And although the lights can be too bright in here to actually fully see, and you see it's now messing with my camera here. Come on. But it's going to be too, uh, too bright to show off any of the subtle details of the ivory, but it is very smooth. Mark did an excellent job on this. I mean, this thing is just, just glass smooth. Very awesome. Here's the bottom. There's a lockup for you guys. More file work. So you get a shot of the inside of the backspacer there. Very clean. Now this knife is uh, is quite uh, quite a big knife. Um, and when I say big, I mean it's just like a, a chunky knife, really, if you can see it in my hands here. Uh, but despite that, it only has a three and a half inch blade, but the overall length is about eight and a half inches long. And just to give you guys a quick idea, um, give you something readily available, which is the large Sabenza 21. And uh, you can see it's a, it's not really a, it, it looks longer than the Spenza 21, but only because the Spenza has a little bit more efficient use of space in terms of uh, blade to handle ratio. Uh, and of course, somebody like uh, Kirby Lambert here uh, does the same thing with his knives. So you notice how, how the Lambert and the, uh, and the Dress Dreadnought has about the same length. But the Lambert, as you can tell, has a little bit more blade length only because, you know, just the way Kirby designed his knives. And, uh, but the the dress the uh, dreadnought is just awesome just in terms of the fact that it's just a big beefy knife and uh, give you a more accurate 
size comparison, you can go put it up head to head with the SMF, which supposedly has a four inch blade on it. And you know, now you can totally tell that, that basically the dreadnought does have a three and a half inch blade. So very awesome. Uh, I, I really liked uh, dealing with Mark. I actually spoke with him on the phone for about 45 minutes uh, before I received my knife. We're talking, uh, and he is just a really, really nice guy to talk to. Um, I really like talking to all the makers if I can, and uh, they're just, uh, you know, just a pleasure to talk to, pleasure to work with, and, uh, you know, we were just chatting away about knives and pretty much about everything. So it's really nice that, that, um, that they still have, they would still take the time out of their day. You know, I know they're busy, and uh, I know Mark's got to be busy. Um, to, to actually just chat with you. So it's really nice that they do that. Anyways, uh, again, this is just a quick look at the Baroque Knives um, Dress Dreadnought. He makes a lot of different models. Go check him out uh, on his website. And, uh, you know, just uh, just hit him up. And, you know, again, he's a real pleasure to talk to, so just give him a call or whatnot. Uh, anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, comments, please leave it below. Uh, aside from that, take care, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.